All right, so we are out here with this 300 PRC. I just finished breaking in and validating. It's a 300 PRC. I'm shooting a 215 burger out of it. It's shooting real well. Some guys tape their barrel with electrical tape. I personally do. Usually I do a strip on the outside and then wrap it around. Some guys don't tape their barrel when they go out in the field. Um, and some guys might even tape their barrel and then remove the tape before they shoot. So we just wanted to see if we could tell any difference. You know, you hear, oh, it's fine to shoot through. It's not fine to shoot through. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot three shots with this ammo at a target at 100 yards. Then we're gonna take this electrical tape. In between each shot, we're gonna tape the barrel. So we'll tape it, shoot through the tape, tape it again, shoot through the tape, tape it again into the same group. So we'll end up with a group that's six shots, three with, three without, um, and see what happens. I don't, I really don't, I've never tested it myself. I tape my barrel, I shoot through it, but I never, I don't know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to find out. Point nine. All right, so we're back here with the 300 PRC. I'm gonna go ahead and tape the uh, muzzle brake here and then we're gonna shoot another group. I like to do a strip coming straight back like so. And then I come back over the top of that. Make sure everything's sealed up. All right, so let's shoot another group. So now we have this blob of electrical tape, but that's all right. Whose rifle is that? JD Outfitters, and uh, this rifle shortly will be headed his way and in stock. But if you're interested, go check out JD Outfitters and maybe you can pick up this rifle. Unless Dennis over there <laughs> wants it. Yeah, I tried to talk him into the last 300 I had out here shooting really well. He can't he hear though. Good. I'm pretty sure he's 74. 70. One and a half. 71 and a half. <laughs> but he's in good shape. Dennis has got an Altera. I do. Okay, I'll do that. There it is. There it is. Yeah. It uh, one shot elk last year at 400 yards. Nice bull. I sent a picture of that bull into Todd. Pretty proud of this gun. It's amazing, it's so accurate. Uh, took me a while to work my loads up, but when I got him there, with a little help from, from my buddy over here, Brandon, uh, I was shooting one, one whole groups uh, at 100 and still are. We appreciate you, Dennis. Yeah. I feel like you're like it's, right it's, up it's in zoomed, my nose. It's zoomed way out. First off, you may have noticed these shots pop up. I'm also we got other rifles to do, so I'm working on a 22 Creedmoor. I'm just starting to break in, so that's kind of what that is. But again, this is three shots without tape, three shots with tape. The three with, with tape, I was also having to shoot one, get off the gun, tape the, tape the muzzle up, get back on the gun, so my position changes a little bit. Um, typically, I don't get on and off the gun like that in between shots, but overall, I'm super stoked about that um totally acceptable in my book i mean do what you want i'm gonna keep taping my barrel though <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot through mine without worrying about it did you shoot through it before or do you take it off or I, what did you do uh, i actually this year when we were sheep hunting i peeled the tape off the gun okay. before i had him well, shoot mean, yeah we had time on for a, on it a sheep, i wasn't yeah, you sure might be worried a yeah, bit. yeah but you know this is yeah, this that's is pretty compelling 
hopefully that helps y'all. Uh, tape or no tape, let us know in the comment what you're gonna do. <laughs>